Nepal marking a big breakthrough. India and China have arrived on a patrolling arrangement along the line of actual control. India's Foreign Secretary Vikram Misri says this leads to disengagement and a resolution of issues that sparked trouble in the region in 2020. Talking about the border row with China in eastern Ladakh, Misri said over the last few weeks, Indian and Chinese negotiators had been in touch to reach an agreement on patrolling arrangements on the line of actual control aimed at reducing tensions. Over the last uh, several weeks, uh, Indian and Chinese uh, diplomatic and military negotiators have been in close uh, contact with each other in a variety of uh, forums. And as a result of these discussions, uh, agreement has been arrived at on uh, patrolling arrangements along the line of actual control in the India-China border areas. Uh, leading to disengagement and a resolution of the issues uh, that had arisen in these areas uh, in uh, 2020. Uh, and we will be taking the next steps uh, on this. Relations between India and China have soured since the June 2020 clashes in eastern Ladakh's Galwan that resulted in the deaths of 20 Indian soldiers, while some areas still remained to be de-escalated after Indian and Chinese troops withdrew from Gogra hot springs in Ladakh in September 2022. Chinese soldiers are still believed to hold large swathes of Indian territory to the north in the Depsang Plains. Now, according to reports, India and China have held 21 core commander level meetings on disengagement in the remaining areas along the line of actual control in eastern Ladakh to restore peace. In July, India's external affairs minister Dr. S. Jeshankar held talks on the line of actual control with Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi on the sidelines of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Jeshankar stressed that it was important that the LAC is respected for peace and tranquility in the border areas. Then on September 12th, National Security Advisor Ajit Doval met with Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese Foreign Minister and Special Representative Wang Yi on the sidelines of the BRICS NSA's meeting in St. Petersburg. It was learned that Doval discussed military disengagement on the line of actual control with China on top priority. The latest breakthrough in talks comes ahead of a possible meeting between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Chinese President Xi Jinping on the sidelines of the BRICS summit in Russia. Mr. Shashank is a former Foreign Secretary of India. He's now joining us live from New Delhi. Mr. Shashank, thank you very much for making time for us and welcome to the program. Let me just start by asking you, there are rumours that uh, possibly the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will hold talks with Chinese uh, President Xi Jinping. What are the possibilities of that happening? And if it does happen, what will be the impact of that? Well, uh, from the statements which have been made recently by our foreign minister, it would appear that there are possibilities of a meeting on this uh, margins of the BRICS summit mm -hmm. between our prime minister and uh, President Xi Jinping. Uh, I think the uh, persistence and the, uh, the uh, arrangements which have been discussed with the Chinese over a period of time mm -hmm. as Patiently, I think they have helped create a suitable atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a bit too early to analyze as to what all are the practical results of this understanding. Mm -hmm. But I think that the grounds are more or less made for this high-level meeting. And in any case, the BRICS summit is an important occasion that Prime Minister would be visiting uh, Russia within the last four months. Mm -hmm. And so that should uh, really give a uh, rare chance for the three important leaders to meet. Mr. Shashank, what is the importance or significance of a disengagement along the line of actual control? Because this has been a long-standing issue since 2020. If the matter is resolved, what does that mean for India? Well, it was actually India felt that there was a lack of trust uh, from the Chinese side and they had taken the measure unilaterally to disturb the peace and the arrangements which had been agreed upon at the personal envoys of the heads of state of the two countries. Uh, I think uh, that being the case, uh, one had to carry on 
firmly, but at the same time showing the peaceful intentions of India mm-hmm. and improving relations with the Asian countries like China. I think ultimately Chinese perhaps have felt that uh, the onset of the BRICS summit, the negotiations which they have had at various levels, uh, have convinced them that whatever India has been saying for a long time, that their association with Quad or their association with the various uh, engagements in the uh, with the Western countries mm-hmm. are not supposed to be against any other country in Asia. In fact, they are supposed to create a suitable condition uh, for better relations among the Asian countries. Mm-hmm. And I think this has been further uh, proven by our Prime Minister's visit to Southeast Asian countries, uh, by the the kind of things which have taken place in Bangladesh, mm-hmm. with the Chinese taking very active line in the South Asian countries. So that has created a situation making the the South Asian states unstable. So I think Chinese have realized that they are being too energetic in these cases. It's not really uh, serving their purpose. And it's much better to take India at its face value. In some ways, whatever problems we are having with the Canadians at this stage may have also helped the Chinese have a clearer understanding of India's relations with the West. Okay. All right, I've been talking to Mr. Shashank. He's a former Foreign Secretary of India. Mr. Shashank, as always, thank you very much for your time and for talking to us today. Yes, thank you. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.